The darkest moment in any hero's tale usually comes just when things are finally falling into place. Our unlikely heroes have discovered the unfinished, top-secret project of the doomed Atlas Corporation. The Gortis Robot. Searching for the robot's missing components made the dream of the vault seem closer than ever. Even though the former middle manager was still haunted by the demented ghost of Hyperion Pass. Destroy that body while it's still young. Unfortunately, any dream can quickly turn into a nightmare, and this nightmare's name was Valerie. Fortunately, Valerie's killing spree was interrupted when another dangerous adversary was suddenly revealed as a powerful ally. Now, supported by a legendary gladiator, their search continued through the icy wastes of the borderlands to a forgotten Garden of Eden. There, they found another piece of the Gortis robot, as well as the last surviving man on the Gladiator's murder bucket list. As she prepared to take her revenge, I made a vow. the con artist intervened. That was the moment that Valerie chose to strike. Outgunned and outmaneuvered, the con artist and salary man were forced to surrender. Now, they were working for Valerie, and their first job was likely to be their last. Find shelter. Looks like we're in for some showers. Oh, awesome. Yeah, let's let's do that. Can't wait. Are you thinking? It looks like you're you're thinking. That suit he's wearing. It looks familiar, but I I can't place it. Yeah, yeah, I hear ya. What the hell is this guy getting out of all this? I can't figure it out. This Endless march down memory lane. There's gotta be a reason for it. He wants a vault. Why else would he be collecting Gordas pieces? He's just like every idiot on Pandora looking to strike it rich. Aren't, uh, aren't you kind of, you know, vault hunting No. Are you calling me an idiot? Yeah, it's what I did there. Yeah. I feel like we should do something. If we get to those hills, maybe we could lose him. Yes, I don't know. What's it gonna do, huh? Shoot us both? <laughs> I seriously doubt that. Don't be stupid. He has a gun. So? He clearly needs us for something. If he wanted to shoot us, he already would have. <laughs> I think all those shots to the head are taking their toll. That hasn't helped. I'm making a break for it. And you should too. Remember, <laughs> zigzag when you run, okay? It uh, makes you harder to hit. That sounds stupid. It's not stupid, it's, it's genius. All right, going on three. One, two, three, go! That's a weird way to run. He's zigzagging. It apparently makes him harder to hit. Of course. What the hell was that? I don't know. Meteor shower, get to the shelter. What's that? Uh, this again. Clearly, I can't trust you two. But I didn't even run. And that's why you're still conscious. So, you just gave away Gordas. She was taken. And you were stuck under Valerie's gun. It was a rocket launcher, okay? It was massive. Even for her. Vaughn? Vaughn! 
on! Shut up. Hey! Stop it! Please! Not so rough. Yes, ma'am. Sorry, boss. The nerd is gone. Some old dude with crazy hair ran off with it. That's okay. We've got what's important. There, there, little one. No need to be upset. I'll answer your questions. Please, just promise that you won't hurt anyone. Of course, dear. I don't want to hurt anyone that's being cooperative. Don't trust her, Gordas. Oh, don't listen to her. She's just being sore. Besides, if you don't tell me, I have to start hurting people again. And you don't want that, do you? No! Now, tell me about the Vault of the Traveler. The, the Vault of the Traveler teleports all over the universe, only staying in one spot for a few minutes before blinking away. But once I have my last piece, the beacon that's up on Helios, I can summon the vault and hold it here. Then you collect treasure or something. What does the beacon look like? I... I don't know. But I'll know it when I see it. That's what happened with the last piece. Well, that's some exciting news. Thank you, Gordas. You're... you're welcome. Can I get away from you now? Of course. <laughs> Look at you, Fiona. Just so angry. <sighs> Is this about Athena? You're feeling you guilty. You hurt anyone. That's what. Leave her alone! You can't blame yourself. Athena made her own bed. You couldn't fight fair, could you? Had to call in some goons to take her on. Goons? I wouldn't call Brick and Mordecai that. They're highly trained vault hunters, and they deserve your respect. Now listen up. Under normal circumstances, your rotting corpses would already be getting torn apart by skags right now. But these are not normal circumstances. And with that last piece being on Helios, I can't think of a better crew than a pair of Pandoran con artists and a Hyperion stooge to figure out a way to get it for me. What do you say? And I'll give you a hint. The only right answer is yes. You don't buy any of this bullshit, Fiona. This is not a negotiation. What's in it for us? What's in it for you? Well, for starters. <gasps> things like this will stop happening. Does that work for you? Or do you think we should negotiate more? What's it gonna be, Fiona? Don't give in. I I'm fine. Hey, you said you wouldn't hurt anyone. No, I said I didn't want to hurt anyone that cooperates. You heard me the first time. What's in it for us? Oh, mm. that ain't a good idea. I think your friend here has a better perspective on that. Let's see. <laughs> You do whatever you want! Just stop, please! That's all I wanted to hear. I'm fine. I'm fine. It's good you didn't give in. She'll respect us now. What the hell is wrong with you two? We've got principles. Son. Yeah? Be a dear and help them come up with a plan. Yes, ma'am. Let's get cracking. It's not possible. We can't do this. That's not an option. Neither is getting ourselves killed. One way or another, we're gonna figure out how to pull this off. <sighs> okay, let's start with how we're gonna get there. Well, this isn't the first time we've had to get creative. We'll... we'll find a rocket booster. Hey, come on, come on. Oh, I'm Just loving your everyone optimism. Calm You're down, saying okay? we can't? Thank you. All right, guys, it boils down to this. Somehow we've got to get to Helios, infiltrate Hyperion, and steal Gordas' vault beacon. Sorry, that was breakfast. 
<clears throat> Sorry. Without getting ourselves killed. No shit, moron. I just said that like 30 seconds ago. Everyone knows what we have to do. We're just trying to figure out how to do it. Okay, okay. If you'd stop being so negative, maybe we could How's make some How's your tum-tum there, buddy? That'll one. teach you to hit the I taco do, truck. Right now, I don't see how that's gonna happen. <sighs> wow, you we'll got the magic, together, kid. They should there bottle the so stuff. Call it weak wrong. sauce. And that's why we have to drill down no, no, I'm sure there's, there's greatness the in there so somewhere. We just, just gotta keep looking. I'm the one forcing us to go on a suicide mission. I hope you help me, but your constant shit-talking isn't helping anybody. You've gotta face reality. Oh, Reese, you see, you just so sadly mistaken. It's helping me pass the time inside your stupid here. little tiny wallet you head. I know that? Then maybe try coming Wait, up with that? a few solutions. Wallet head. Okay, here's I like one. that. Wallet you head, wallet that. head. That's you good know stuff. we can't do that. Fine. All right, okay, I know then? we've had our differences, I, and I, I I'll admit I can get but pretty grouchy when I don't get my own way. But to maximize our chances, I'm ready to bury the hatchet. All right. It's a metaphorical hatchet, especially because I know I don't really have any hands right now. Oh, which is a real bitch, I tell you what. Yeah. Yeah, I got a place to bury the hatchet. Ah, uh, you're gonna say up your ass, aren't ya? Too late. Live in your shittiness. Yeah, what I'm saying is this, I got your beacon somewhere in my office. Get in there, and it's mission accomplished, baby. I just don't see how we're gonna do this. You don't get that beacon. You're all as good as dead. You're not helping. Oh, great. Captain Obvious wants to speak. Uh, I believe I have some information that is relevant to your interests. The beacon is in Handsome Jack's office. You pulled that out of your ass. Well, check it out, smart guy. Run it by Gordis. Fine. Hey, put the little robot on. Listen, you got access to a map of Helios? I do! See if you can focus your scan for the beacon in Handsome Jack's old office. Let's see what we have here. Enhance? Oh, so you can say it. You're shitting me. I wouldn't know how. That whole sector must be crawling with guards. Hey, give me one reason why you think we could possibly break in. <laughs> Man, how many people you gotta kill to get an office like that? Billions. I get that you're scared. The I am too, but working together, I think we have a shot. Great! Sign me up. I don't know how we're gonna get through this. Teamwork. That's how. Then you better have a damn good plan. Oh. It's killer. Behold! Helios! Okay. Now how do we get there? Oh, well, the Helios is in space, so we need a... spaceship. Obviously. Well, we don't exactly have one lying around. Hey, what about Scooter? He said we could call him any time. Well, you got yourself a rocket man, miss! And then it's off to Helios. Pandora, we have liftoff. Before we dock, I'll tell a vet we've arrived. She'll help us. Why not call her now? Well, the less she knows, the safer she is. Yvette, we're back. Awesome, Reese. You're a hero. I'll tell the guards to let you through. At ease, soldier. Then I'll disable the security system. I am a living god. Fiona, you'll take Sasha and Gordis and go to the hub of heroism. Now, up on Helios, Jack's office is a museum. Hallowed ground. Not even Vasquez had access. Looks like the only sure access is the VIP tour. Meet your new tour guides. From there, we'll get into Jack's office, where I'll- <laughs> hang on. Uh, you'll need me for that, obviously. Once inside, Gordis will ID the piece. Wow! This place is huge! This way, please! And to the victors go the spoils. Told you. <laughs> Killer plan. Wait a minute. How are you gonna pull any of this off? 
Hyperion wants you dead. Then I better go as someone else. And for the grand finale... I'll digestruct a vast skies. But Hyperion's gonna want proof that Reese is dead. We'll use Vasquez's body. They'll never know the difference. This could actually maybe work. So I guess all that's left is pitching the plan to Valerie. She'll go for it. And getting me to Old Haven. And I'll go to Scooters. Wait a second. Hmm? So how did you figure out the pieces in Jack's office? Don't tell him, princess. They'll sabotage the whole freaking mission. It just came out of nowhere. Don't do it. You'll only make things way worse. Okay, team. Um, prepare to have your minds blown. <laughs> Handsome Jack is in my head. God, but damn it! Did you just just allow me to explain? Okay. When I plugged Nakayama's ID drive into my head port, I kind of accidentally uploaded an AI version of Jack into my brain. But, but it's cool. It's cool. I've, I've got everything under control. <laughs> kind of. What? You had that murdering son of a bitch in your head all this time and you didn't tell us? You asshole. And we thought August was a pro. <laughs> okay. If Jack's really in there, I want to talk to him. You know, just... Give him a piece of my mind. Yeah, that's not happening. But he'll only talk to me. Oh, how convenient. Well, that went over well. Even your oddly ripped moron sidekick took it better. Anyway, you know how it goes. Snitches get stitches. I just made that up. It's clever. So wait, when you fell off that balcony back there, that was Jack? <sighs> and here I thought of you as a friend. I'm not one to say I told you so, but, uh, <coughs> I told you so. Oh, good times, huh? Have fun cleaning up your mess! I'm sorry, all right? I should have mentioned it earlier. Yeah, you think? What is wrong with you? I get it. I messed up. Let's just say for argument's sake that you didn't mean to be a lying scumbag and that you understand that you should have shared what is an incredibly vital piece of information. So far, so good, I guess. Even if we could somehow trust you again... How can we trust Jack? No more lies. You need to level with us from here on out. This might sound nuts, but I can control him. He doesn't have the power to hurt us, e even if he wanted to. If who wanted to what? All right, Valerie signed off on the plan. Reese is going with Finch and Kroger. The rest of us are off to Hollow Point to get this thing spacey. Let's get to work. August, watch Gordas. I'll miss you! Just hurry up. I don't like being alone with this... Thing. <gasps> but I like you so much! Hey, have you got a plan for what to say to Scooter? Because he screwed him out of a lot of money for those caravan repairs. He could be angry. And I've heard stuff about what he did to the Zafford clan. It's a pretty jolly guy for someone who just buried another man alive. Just be honest. He likes us, and he's a, he's a decent guy. Yeah, I mean, he'll probably jump at the chance to build something cool, right? Now, who in the world are these two finely dressed ladies entering my fine automobile establishment? Get out of here, you're classing up the place. Haha, <laughs> just kidding, don't, don't leave, please. Come to see your old sponsor, huh? How go the races? I know you sure like going fast, haha. <laughs> Wait, no, not like you're a fast woman or... Oh, shoot. Uh, like racing's just in your veins. Is all I'm saying. 
I'll shut up. Scooter, great to see you. Just an absolute pleasure. Every time I get to see your face, just... Mm. Go on. <laughs> Nah, you don't have to go on. I know my face is about as appealing as a dead dog somebody whacked a few times with a tire iron until it popped. But anyway, it's great to see you. What can I do you for? Not saying that I want to do you or nothing. No, it's... Just, well, not that I'm saying I wouldn't, either. Uh, would one of you, like, open your mouths and make with the wording so I can... I can shut mine? I mean, my uncle always said, never open your mouth. I is that it? We need your help. Valerie's after us, and if we can't equip the caravan with a rocket and fly to Helios, we're all dead. Y'all need me? Oh, man. I've always wanted to be somebody's knight in shining armor, saving all their lives and whatnot. Well, you're not quite. Uh-uh, uh-uh. Just let him have this. I'm gonna be a hero! Woo! That all sounds great. Only problem is funding. No, don't worry about it. Valerie will pay for whatever we need to get to Helios, get the Gordas piece, and get out. I understood exactly half those words. Let's do it! Oh wait, when I said that there was only one problem, I meant that there were two? Cause look, I know a lot about cars and I know a lot about engines. But rockets are right out of my purview. My business partner knows rockets like you wouldn't believe. But she's, uh, she's a little out of sorts. Don't know if she's in much shape to help with the rocket stuff. She's been like that since she heard about a couple vault hunters nabbed her girlfriend out in the tundra. Athena? Oh, you know Athena? Man, small world. Yeah, we were there when it happened. Fiona was the last one with her. Then I don't know, maybe you could talk to Janie, let her know what's what. Set her mind at ease if you can. That's a nice bike. You make that yourself? I did. It was gonna be a present for Athena when she got back. Oh. Yeah. Oh. She lied to me. Said she was on some delivery run. I really wanted to believe her. I did. But she forgot to turn her echo off the last time we spoke. Oh. I recognized your voice when you came in. You were out there with her. Her echo went dead after the fighting started. I couldn't... What was she doing? Why did she lie to me? I need to know. I know she wasn't on a delivery job. Why would she lie to me like that? Why would she leave? She was... training me. For what? To be a vault hunter. She wasn't putting herself in danger for her own sake. She was teaching me how to survive. She wouldn't do something like that out of the goodness of her heart. An old friend of ours hired her. Yeah? And where's he? Oh, hell. Athena. So what happened to her exactly? I've never seen Athena lose a fight. How'd she get grabbed? So long as she's got that shield, I've never seen anyone so much as lay a finger on her. It doesn't make sense. She can't... Damn it. She was saving my life. Valerie threw two Vault Hunters and her entire gang at Athena, but she held them off. She only surrendered to stop them from killing me. Your girlfriend is a hero. <laughs> I know. Ha ha ha. This is kind of awkward. Change the subject. These nice ladies want us to build a rocket for them? What do you say? I don't know if I've got the parts. Sure you do. Come on! You just gotta I just want to know one last thing, and then I'll see about the rocket. Did she... say anything about me? Before they took her. The way she acted, sometimes I didn't even know if she liked me. Like maybe I was just a fluke or something. Hell, you don't need to hear this. Sorry. She told me to pass on a message. She said she loves you. She did? I... Oh. Goodness. Okay. Oh. Wow. Young lady, you are gonna have yourself a rocket. 
And once I'm done building it, I'm going to grab every gun I can carry, I'm going to drive out of here, I'm going to rescue my girlfriend, and I'm going to marry the piss out of her. I'm in. I can probably build you something that'll break Atmo, but beyond that, you'll want a mechanic on board to make sure it doesn't explode on you. Oh man, that sounds like a job for the scooter man if I ever heard one. And considering it's a dream of mine to catch a ride into space and all that, it would be like just, just wow. What do you say, ladies? But you've already deal. done... Okay, I heard one of y'all say deal, so let's go with that. Woo! Up top, space buddies! Ugh. Hey, I'd rather deal with him for a few hours than be stranded up there with a busted engine. Yeah, I guess. Fine. Alright, here's how it's gonna go. The man with the plan right here is gonna track down the corpse. Okay, I get it. Off you go. All right, Reese. Let's just find Vasquez's body, get back here, and not crap our pants. But you <laughs> are gonna have such a hard on for my office, Reese. It's well, it's huge. Two out of three ain't bad. My office, not your hard on. Whatever. Ah, <sighs> back here again. I thought I'd close the book on this weird chapter of my life. Yeah, you better run. My office. Okay, dark interior, check. Planetary view, huh? Out the window, check. A chair so soft it could only be made out of supple kitten flesh, check. And if you're a good boy, maybe I'll even let you sit in it. Maybe. You see? I told you so. Wallet head. All right, wallet head. Time to show your face back on Helios. Face! Face is face! Has no face! Oh, you better hope a psycho didn't use it for a skin pizza. A skin pill. <laughs> oh, God. <sighs> What were the pepperonis? A skin pizza. Oh, you uh, clearly haven't right been here. on Pandora mm -hmm. long enough, compadre. Uh -huh. Let's find Vasquez's face. Mm. And get out of here. You're the boss. All right, look, Reese, what happened between you and me, that's in the past, okay? It's almost like it never happened. I highly doubt that. No, no, I'm serious, pal. You want to find the Gordas Beacon on Helios, and I want to get off this murder planet. Our stars are aligned in a very groovy way. You gotta keep an eye on your friends during this Helios mission, huh? Unlike how you're not keeping an eye on that tripwire. Uh, what? <laughs> well, looks like these psychos had themselves a little skin pizza party. Mm. 
How am I gonna find Vasquez's face? In all this mess. That's what an echo eye's for, genius. Scan the faces from a nice stab-free distance. Unless you want to get up close and physical with some new psycho pals. Vasquez wasn't that ugly. You and me, Pumpkin, let's rock this walk. Whoa, this place is scaring me and I'm a frickin' hologram. Uh, careful now, I wanna end up psycho dinner. Must have been one hell of a party. You know, in a messed up way, I kinda respect this psycho. I always thought I'd drink or sex myself to death too. Because those really are the two best options. Oof, disturbing. Not Vasquez's face disturbing, but still disturbing. Glad I wasn't invited to this pizza party. Not now. Interrupt Rem Psycho! <laughs> Alright, good, good, again, this time with feeling! Give him the old smackdown! Atta boy! Need rest. Big day tomorrow. You die, I sleep! Smacky Dabby! I should punch with this arm more often. Okay, listen up, because I'm about to compliment you. No one ever became a leader without dirtying their hands. Oh, you're gonna get Hugo McSwoopy Hair's face back, no problem. Next stop, Hyperion, baby. Huh. Kinda looks like my ex-girlfriend. I'd actually be okay with that. Sorry, Stacy. Nope. Well, this is a fun night. Looks like we found our psycho. You only see this kind of thing on Pandora. Get me back to Helios, Reese. Pretty please. With strippers on top. We got this. Oof, that is one ugly mug. Um, where... where am I gonna put it? Cram it in your pocket, I don't know. I, I can't mess up his face or the Digistruck won't work. Rip it off like a bandage. Quick and painful. Oh. Mmm. Okay. Just peeling it off. Peeling off the face. Not going to barf into his mouth. With your mouth. <sighs> That's it. Go on. Peel off that face like a serial killer. You're sick. Stuck. Mm -mm. Oh, God, that's so that that is just the the grossest thing I've ever seen. Oh God, oh. I can't stop now. Oh no 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 no! Are you kidding me right now? Oh, oh but pinch it off. Just pinch it uh, off. Please. Seriously? Oh, please don't do. It. Please, please, please don't do this to me. Oh, gross. <laughs> <laughs> Smash the baby's face! Crunch its teeth! <laughs> Run! You're the only one running, pal! I can fly! So, once I snatched that face pizza, gross, I sprinted out of Old Haven. Hundreds, no, thousands of psychos chased me. Oh, really? That many? Couldn't even count them all. You were too busy trying to save face. Okay, 
technically it was one psycho, but he had a bomb strapped to his chest that had the stopping power of like a thousand of which could so one one yeah psycho with chest bomb oh you said something about a bomb psycho oh yeah there. <laughs> Whoa, wait, dude. Oh, we were supposed to bring back the body. Oh, we are still bringing it back. It's just gonna take a little longer to collect now. Think I got some baggies in the truck. It ain't pretty, but this one fits your budget. Ugh, are Hyperion costumes necessary? Fiona will fit right in with her spiffy new duds, but Sash, you look about as low-down Pandoran as they come. No offense, but if you want to be arrested within ten seconds, be my guest. Aw, oh, really? Even with my new ZR-37 look specs? Especially with your ZR-37 look specs. Hey, here's your disguise allowance. Don't think it'll be a regular thing or nothing. Get yourself something, or get Sasha something nicer so she'll quit whining. Don't care either way. Just don't look Pandoran, or this mission will be over before it even started. So, what are you gonna get, sis? Alright, let's see what we're working with. Hey, Fiona, the, uh, <clears throat> pricier option ain't too shabby. Plus, I kind of want you to spend all of August's money. Hey! Or whatever, just pick something that says, I look like a stuck-up jerk. Yeah, <laughs> that'll work. That'll look good. Are you both blind? All right, thanks, Fee. I'll try it on in a bit. Hope it's worth the cash. Could have bought a lot of guns with that. Scooter. You look like a dream! You're up, Saj. Make it quick. Huh. Not bad. Makes me feel like I could drink the tears of a million dream-crushed orphans. I'll fit right in at Hyperion. So, uh... I'm sorry about earlier. I shouldn't have kept Jack a secret like that. It, it's... Kind of a weird thing to be dealing with. Not that that's an excuse, it's... It's just what happened. And I... Wanted to say I'm sorry. I'm not even gonna ask. Yeah, it's probably better that way. Hey! Is this disguise gonna work? I figure you're the one with the eye for this. You and Vaughn are the only Hyperion I know. And you dress terrible. So, maybe I should just take my chances. It suits you. Is that a pun? Oh, no. <laughs> that is hilarious, I get it. Um, I'm just saying that it looks very convincing. It's a, it's a good look for you. Thanks. But I'm gonna be burning these clothes once this is over. Naturally. Anyway, it's all yours. Thanks. Just gotta scan my severed face here. 
Yeah, have fun with that. Just get to the skin screen and... Please scan skin. Oh, there we go. Okay, skin scan. Oh, God. Oh, God. Much worse from this side. <sighs> skin unlocked. Convincing. Is it? Yeah, I mean, you look like a complete douchebag. Excellent. That is the look I was going for. This is... Oh, definitely weird. Well, it's certainly... Big. <gasps> That's Scooter for you. I hope Vaughn's all right. I'm sure Cassius is looking out for him. We'll track them down when we get back. see this. Hey, you look like you've done that. Like you've done that before.
I know it's where we're from, but... It's never felt like home to me. I... I didn't think I'd ever see this. It looks so... I don't... Peaceful. Who'd have thought? I haven't even gone that far, and it all feels a million miles away. It's beautiful from up here. From up here? Sure. It's a shame we have to go back. Wish we could just turn this thing towards the nearest planet. We'd probably run out of fuel, so it's not a good idea, but... You know, it's an idea. One day we won't have to. We'll be able to pick whichever planet we want. <laughs> I can't wait. Ugh, I keep forgetting they're here. Once we get the beacon, we'll figure out a way to turn things back in our favor. Any ideas on how exactly we do that? Or are we just winging it? Again. I know we're good at improvising, but... We get the beacon and ditch Valerie's goons. Leave him on Hyperion. Mm, I don't think Valerie will like it if August is left behind. I'm not really concerned with what Valerie likes and dislikes right now. Yeah, I gathered as much. Hey, watch it. Oh, sorry, man. Just got a wife from me is all. It ain't bleeding or nothing. What the hell is this damn thing? It's, uh... Well, it's a satellite. Gonna launch it to, to advertise my franchise. You know what they say? I ain't no ad space like outer space. Of all the brands, you pick the one Hyperion hates. We're not drawing more attention to ourselves for some publicity stunt. Hey, there's no Whoa! need for that! Stop it! Come on, man! I gotta get some out of this trip! You won't be alive to collect it if we get blown into dust. Scooter's earned the right to cash in on this trip. If it weren't for him, we'd still be stuck down on Pandora. And August, what exactly have you done for this mission? That's what I thought. Ah, oh, whatever. Awesome! That seems like a bad idea. Well, no one asked you. Warning! Debris collision imminent. <laughs> Is that a... person? Hey! Looks like we've got another dead bad guy! Henderson. Impact detected. Long center rocket booster. No shit! Tell us something we don't know. Did you know? The damage is critical. So this is how I die. I knew it. I knew it! Whose idea was it to bring this tin can? Um, how critical exactly? Without additional thrust, the ship will be pulled back towards Pandora. So it's real bad? Pretty bad, yeah. Look, y'all, we need to do some compensating right here, and y'all are in luck, because that's my specialty. Now turn them other rockets up to 11. Stop, man. Serious. No way, man. I'm just getting stirred. We got this. Scooter! Why is the whole ship shaking? No, that's just because we're running real high right now. Like, kind of scary high. But what? We're going to take it to the limit. Okay, we're about to hit escape velocity. And when we do, you got to shut these puppies down. You hear? Yeah. Yeah, I hear. Do you? How can you hear anything? Achieving escape velocity in five, four, three... Two, one, go! <laughs> so then, why are the alarms still going? Now that was just step one. We can't do step two without step one. Booster of rocket failure imminent. What does that mean? They're going to explode. Step two, let's do this! Uh... When are they gonna explode? Very soon. What's step two? We get out there and we handle these uncooperative rockets. Oh, right. Step three is us making out. What? Huh? 
喂。Don't you worry, your pretty little all of you there, but yourself. But I'll be walking you through it, though.
Right rocket is way past critical, guys. All right. You gotta go. the first casualty of the mission. him as best we could. He truly earned this. It's the least we can do. Make it something good. It's the least we can do. The worst part is, Scooter was the best of us. He deserves so much better. He was definitely one of the nicest people I met on Pandora. Although that's not probably saying much. Anyway, we didn't have much time to mourn and all that. Things started to get crazy the minute we landed on Helios. So, uh, if that's not it, uh, answering. Perfect. You have entered Hyperion airspace. Identify yourselves immediately. Okay, gang. <laughs> there we go. I repeat, identify yourselves or you will be shot down. Do not come any closer. We will fire. It's Hugo Vasquez. I'm back. Hugo, huh? I guess we should roll out the red carpet. Uh, for starters, yeah, I'd also like some bubbly chillin' in my office. Just, uh, not too cold, mind you. How about a warm bucket of piss? <laughs> You're lucky good old Hugo has a sense of humor. Get inside and disable security. I'll call you when it's safe to come out. Time to put on the game face. You 
You've got some things to answer for. Vasquez. Almost seems like, uh... What's the word? Providence? Right. Providence. Well, how's it hanging, fellas? Another glorious day working for the big H in the sky, am I right? How are your kids? Still non-existent. You nailed it! That was a test. Well done! Orders are to verify what the hell you were doing down on Pandora. Ah, take it easy, guys. I just landed. In a hunk of Pandoran trash, no less. With half a loader bot stuck to the top. Hard. And what's that thing you dropped say? Catch a... Whatever the hell it says, it was a doll satellite. Now I suggest you start telling the truth before I blow your head off. So, what were you doing down there? Not too often the top brass venture to that dirt pile. I was dealing with the Reese and, uh, Vaughn situation. The who and what situation? Reese and Vaughn, the two criminal masterminds who had the gall to try to rip off the corporation that nurtured them. One of them's really handsome. Hmm. Sounds made up. Yeah, but I got, you know, very important places to be. So I'll just be... on my way. Nah. Nah. What do you mean, nah? Here's how it is. You come up here full of piss and bullets with some made-up story about Reese and Vaughn characters. So no, you're not going anywhere. I'll take it from here. Hey, Bat, so good to see you. We need to catch up. Bring it in for testing. What the hell happened to Reese? This is unbelievable. It wasn't supposed to go down like this. As you may have noticed from your viewing, I'm sorry to report that he is passed on. Passed on? It looks like he was blown apart. <laughs> he did go out with a bang. Well, actually, two bangs and a squish. My condolences. You've got some damn nerve showing up here like this. Our deal was clear. You were supposed to retrieve his head so management could download whatever the hell was inside of there that was so damn valuable. Now we'll never collect the reward. Cause you lost a critical Hyperion asset. I'm sure we went over the particulars, but can you remind me what's in Reese's head that's so You're kidding valuable? me. And all the excitement on Pandora, it must have slipped my mind. I guess our reward slipped your mind, too. You had one job, and, well, you blew it. I'm taking you straight to management. Let's see how you like answering to them. I've had it with you. Let's see how big of a smartass you are under questioning. How many baggies would you like? Excuse me? Well, it's just that my colleagues tend to die badly. Henderson, Reese, I could go on. And if things were to go south, I'd like to know your preference. One big bag or a bunch of little ones? Maybe with the cute zip ties? They make them in a million colors. Never start what you can't finish. Standing by in the caravan. Tell us when it's safe to move. The vet's scanning the body, so we gotta hurry. I'm taking over the cameras now. Child's play. And we're late. Now for the password. You want to dance? Let's dance. 
Hey, not bad, killer. Good luck keeping up the pace, though. Bet that little cyber arm of yours is getting pretty tired. Giles play, right, pal? Well, the security is a bit tougher than I expected. Now I wrote the program, so let's send an icebreaker into that frozen sea of code, shall we? Jason, Jack, Hack, Jack, coming at you, baby! And we freaking rule! And that is not the royal way this time. Ah, security cameras have been breached. Now, go forth and lay waste, my son. Just one sec, let me find you. Fiona, I'm in. Nice work. Yeah, if I do say so myself. Tell us where to go, Reese. Uh, the door's up ahead. Come on, this way. Okay, we're at the... hub of heroism? Great. The elevator to Jack's office is across the atrium. That's where the tours meet. Got it. Looks like it's time to put on our tour guide hat. We only need their badge, and then we're out of here. Although I could use a new hat. Pretending to be a tour guide for a place we've never been and know nothing about. This'll end well. Look at these assholes. So proud of themselves. They know they're evil. What a bunch of losers. Lady's trying to get my attention when clearly I'm having an important conversation. So, uh, what are you wearing? You ready for this? I was fabricated, programmed, and wired ready. I was also built to dance. Handsome Jack Memorial and Poor. It's like they worship. What the hell are you doing here? Motivational speaker. Said my gun doesn't talk. Do your job, or you'll hear what she has to say. About our tour guide yet? Not yet. Reese, we need an assist. All right, check in the schedule. Check in the schedule. All right, the guide will be coming off our tour any second. We're on it. Nope, not a tour guide. Is that her? No, that's a him. Uh, where is she? There's the tour guide. Standard distract and grab. Yeah. When I'm in position behind the tour guide, that's your cue to get her talking. First opening I find, I'll lift her badge. Oh, oh, oh! What about me? Oh, you've got the most important job of all, Gordis. Once I have the badge, you gotta get the tour guide out of the room. Roger that, General Captain Lieutenant Ma'am! Private Gordis is on the job!
Can you believe they call that stuff in the cafeteria food? <laughs> That's why I stick to coffee. It hides the whiskey on my breath. A woman after my own heart. Ugh, I've been thinking. If Hyperion served real food, not that free hyperhydrated crap. Oh, come on. Oh, no, 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 no. Would you care for another glass of whatever it is humans drink? Uranium milk, perhaps? Ooh. Oh, my outfit's ruined. This is so terrible. Nothing gets coffee and whiskey out. You. Do you have any idea who this is? A nice tour guide lady? The tour guide lady. She's the head of all Helios tours, and you're superior. Come on. I'll help you find a change of clothes. You know, have you ever considered a management position? I mean, the way you demean that little robot? You'd be perfect. Where do I put in my application? Hello, Reese. You have the privilege of speaking to Helios's newest tour guide. Well done. Your criminal instinct shines again. I'm heading up to Jack's office with Gordas. Hi, Reese! Oh, damn it! What? What's happening? They know they've been hacked. I got this, but you need to hurry and keep a low profile. <sighs> okay. Keep your eyes on the prize. Attention. Helios is on heightened alert. Please report any suspicious activity immediately. Fiona? I don't like their faces. They aren't moving. Who's this? Uh, she barely looks Hyperion. Mm -mm. Pretty, though. Pretty suspicious. So... <laughs> You guys are a tour group. We're the Handsome Jack VIP experience. The best tour money can buy. It better be. So are you gonna give us the tour or not? Oh, uh... You've kept us waiting long enough. Yeah, let's start the tour already. All right, VIPs. Well, get ready for a once-in-a-lifetime experience. For all of us. Here we go. The, uh, first stop of the Handsome Jack VIP experience. This... depicts... Oh, I cannot wait to hear about this. Ooh. Ah! What a scene. Handsome Jack. Defeating, um... Oh, man, what didn't Handsome Jack do? Cool. A vault monster. And then, plucking out its eye to use as a super weapon. Whoa. You are totally blowing my mind right now. Quite a sight to behold, isn't it? This, my friends, is... No freaking way. Jack's infamous horse, made from real diamonds. And, uh... Wish I had a horse like that. Wish I had diamonds like that. Jack loved his trusty steed. More than his own family. Unfortunately, the poor creature died from iridium bullet poisoning and hardened into the statue you see before you. <laughs> poor little guy. If you'll follow me, we're on to our third and final exhibit. Oh, I can't wait. Um, uh, yeah, what is this? Ooh. Uh, kinda just looks like a chair. 
Uh, I think I have one like that in my office. It's just a chair. But what it represents is an idea. Jack started as a lowly programmer sitting in a chair just like this. And now he has a VIP tour dedicated to his greatness. Just imagine where your chairs might take you. Straight to the top, baby! Sorry about that. Had to leave my chair for a throne if you catch my drift. Wait a minute, that wasn't an exhibit at all. So, why would you tell us that it is? Uh, I think they call people like that liars. That was a test, people. And you failed. Wait, what? How does that work? All right, enough chit-chat. Come on through so you can see Jack's office. I'm gonna need you to step aside and raise your arms. Oh, oh, I knew there was something off about her. Yeah, she was weirdly ignorant for a guy. Yeah, I don't trust her. Guess what? You're banned from tours for life. Y you can't do that. Should have been nicer. I won't stand for this. Tough break, kid. Maybe next time you'll show some respect. What's this? It was a gift. What's in it? Look for yourself. No metal objects. Next time it's mine. Understood. Woo woo! <laughs> We're almost there. Now for the main event. Even you can't ruin this for me. Cody, can you ID the beacon? It's gotta be in there somewhere. Let me look. Hmm, can't see it from here. Maybe I can just... Stop! What? Oh boy. I, 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 I can't believe we're here. Uh, here it is. Your hero's office. Is it safe to go inside? Uh... It ought to be. I paid good money for this. Uh-uh. I want the full Handsome Jack VIP experience. That means going all the way. None of this look-but-don't-touch bullshit. Uh, I really wouldn't. Yeah, you know what? We don't need your permission. Force field breach detected. Security lockdown engaged. Thank you for taking the handsome Oh my god, oh! Oh experience. god! This isn't a we tour! You it's a goddamn tour. death trap! Goodbye. Okay, uh, let's go. Everybody out. I'm not cleaning that shit up again. You got this? That's a heavy duty looking door! This better work. Damn it! I can't get into Jack's office. What? You gotta be kidding me. You had one job! Oh, come on! Oh, come on! Some moron on the tour tried to go through before the door was deactivated. I, I, I can't seem to get in. I mean, the, the lockdown security system must be on a local grid or something. Now, so I can understand. It means that we need another way in. Okay, okay, we just, I just need to think about this for a second and... Uh, maybe if we, uh, um, um, hold tight, okay, I gotta call you back, if that's here. Crap. He said to hold tight! Well, what's he doing in there? Damn it! Get out of my way. <laughs> Newsflash, asshole. This is my office now. First you give me a body that isn't re- Then you go hacking my computer? What are you doing? You're trying to pull something. I know it. 
What am I doing? What are you doing? Everything in this office is mine now, which technically means you're breaching security. We had a deal, asshole. I tracked Reese and Vaughn all across Pandora for you. I refused them supplies when they needed them. And all you had to do was bring me whatever the hell was living inside Reese's head. I knew I shouldn't have trusted you. Of course you'd betray me. You're only out for yourself. If you couldn't handle the risk, maybe you shouldn't have taken Vasquez's deal. My deal. I am Vasquez in the, uh... So in the first place, maybe you shouldn't have. Weren't Reese and Vaughn your friends? They were dead the second they set foot on Pandora. If I was gonna lose them anyway, I might as well get something out of it. But you still haven't answered me. Why bring a body that wasn't Reese? I can't believe you thought I wouldn't find out. Well, you seriously underestimated me. Mallory's the one who pawned that body off on me. She must have switched corpses. I wouldn't worry, though. Reese is probably still dead. I want his head here. I don't care if he's dead somewhere else. No, you really don't. I have no idea what's going on here, but I don't like it. I'm calling security. Thank you for calling security. You are the Hey, how you doing? And, uh, get her off that phone if I was you, unless you want to be a bullet sponge. Go! Yeah, cool. Time to decide what's mightier, the pen or the punch. All security officers are busy. Please continue to hold. A reminder, if you have been wounded by gunfire, please hang up and dial emergency medical services. Eva, we need to talk. Oh, yeah? What about? You got this, pal. Don't... Mess it up or we'll die. Security officers are busy eliminating other threats and will take your call in the order it was received. If you are still alive, press 1 now. You're gonna want to put that phone down. And why's that? Oh, I don't know. Maybe you should ask Henderson. Oh, wait. You can't because I threw his ass out of an airlock. Come on. You're not really gonna do that, are you? There's a ton of security nearby. I wouldn't push my luck if I were you. I like hurting people of that. It's my favorite perk next to the snack room in my big ass office. Oh, wait. You took my office. Now all I got left are snacks and pain. Oh, shit. I, um, I'll, I'll give you a little more time. But I'm watching you. I wouldn't have it any other way. Fiona, you there? Maurice, what took you so long? Do you forget that we have a, you know, a mission to accomplish? I had to reclaim my office. I mean, well, it was never, you know, my office, but it should have been until Vasquez stole it from me. How early is this must look like Vasquez talking about himself in the third person? Ooh, ooh, check this out. I'm Hugo Vasquez, the biggest ass face in the game. Great, knock it off. Sorry. So yeah, Jack's office is on total lockdown, and I can't get the beacon. Little help? Uh, I'm working on it. Well, work faster. No beacon means no lock means everybody's gonna die. At least we're all doomed together. Yay! Come on, Reese. It'll come to you. You know, if I were you in there with the vet, I would have let my stun baton do the talking. Well, that's not quite true. If I were you, I would have bought Yvette a one-way ticket to strangulation town with a brief stop at making her eyes bug out real weird station. I mean, actually, legally, that's what you're supposed to do to traitors. Yeah, yeah. I wrote it into the bylaws. Yvette's got nothing to do with this, all right? Just leave her alone. Oh, excuse me. Who said anything about... Oh. Wait, are you talking to Jack? I'm not psyched about it, but yeah, it's Jack. Well, just... Let me know if he goes evil and you need me to shoot you in the head. Will do. As I was saying, I'm here to help. Just surprised a handsome Jack fan like you doesn't know I have a trap door in my office. And let me tell you, you're gonna love it. As long as blood doesn't make you squeamish and... Yeah, maybe some brains and whatnot. Not to burst your bubble or anything, but isn't a trap door just a little cliché? So is saying burst your bubble, what's your point? Uh, that I'm surprised a man of your distinct tastes would have one? It's a time-honored tradition used by generations of Hyperion CEOs. You know, I, I feel 
Like you're mocking my culture. It's just a trap door. Jeez. I, I, it's not just a trap door. It's the centerpiece of your new plan. Uh -huh. You're gonna need to go in the outhole while someone yanks the lever. It's not as sexy as it sounds. A lot of people died down there. No. What did I agree to? A brilliant plan. With my office on lockdown, climbing up the trap door is the only way in. And you get to do it all from the safety of a prison cell. I mean, I I've heard of some killer plans in my time, but this one takes the cupcake. No, no way. Forget it. This plan is insane. Coming up here in a rocket caravan with cheap muscle and a couple of con artists. That was freaking insane. I'm just trying to make sure we both survive this festering mess of yours. Okay, then. Guess that counts as a plan. Yeah, it does. All right, the first step, though, is to make sure that con artist babe of yours joins you on the prison level and we're golden. You can access the jackhole there. So, did Jack bestow any pearls of wisdom? Yeah, more or less. Well, let's hear it. Hey, Feet, you have got to see the head tour guide's office. The view is unbelievable. Not now. We gotta change the plan. What's up? You need to get down to the prison level now. Got it. On my way. All right, I'll see you there. Wait, how? I don't have clearance for that. Oh, uh, right. Uh, I don't, uh, just get arrested. Arrested? Yeah, that's the exact opposite of what we've been trying to do. Just do it and do it quick. I gotta go. All right. We do this Pandoran style. this horse down. Grr, I'm ready for prison life! <gasps> why... why is it... You didn't see anything! Why is it doing that? Stop looking! Why is it bleeding? There's, there's blood! Why is there blood? What if it was just filled with strawberry jam? I told you, just get arrested and meet Reese. me at... Reese, are you there? Uh, Vaughn? Vaughn? Hey, I don't know if you can hear me, but I'm with Cassius. He saved me back there, and we're just... I don't know where, but we're eating drake fruit. Really want to... With the... Uh, Vaughn? With the thing. Vaughn? Fast cares! Talk or walk, ladies. I don't have time for both. You made me and my accounting boys look like idiots with that ten million you stole. It's gonna take years to do all the paperwork. Better. Up to it. <clears throat> Sorry. Just ate a burrito. Never mess with accountants, Vasquez. You can always count on us outnumbering you. Smoke them! Ha 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 ha! 
Here's some more for ya. <laughs> Hope you're not allergic to lead. this thing you saw nothing okay sometimes the light plays tricks makes a statue look like it's seeping blood but it's all just in your head i know a bleeding statue when i see you know one. hey what's going on here with you all how's it going oh hi reese things are going great did you just say reese nothing I could have swore you said Reese. Isn't that the name of the dead guy they picked up on Pandora? How much of a beating did you lay on these two, huh? Clearly they're brain damaged. I mean, just like the regular amount. Ah, uh, come on. Clearly not the way this one's babbling on. So what is it that I can help you with, Mr. Vasquez? Because if it's related to the incident upstairs, this is all under control. Just another case of vandalism on the Handsome Jack tour. That's confidential information that I can't divulge. Just hand over the prisoners and stay out of the way. I don't understand. You know, you must not be a big fan of having a job questioning one of your superiors like this. No, it's not that. It's just strange is all. What's strange is that you're still standing here. How about you go take an early lunch and I'll try and forget this insubordination? Or would you rather I just fire you on the spot? Leaving now, sir. Nice job. So, what is this plan, exactly? Jack told me about a trapdoor that leads to his office. We just gotta figure out a way up. So I'm guessing the plan doesn't involve you getting mulched by a death machine? No, that's... that's a problem. How can we help? By figuring out a way to shut that thing off so I can get up there. Then I pull you up on the comm so you can identify the piece. Sounds like a plan. Wait! We gotta go up that scary dark hole? I think Reese is the only one scrawny enough to fit. Phew! Woo! Glad I got these meaty ham hocks. Who's hungry? <laughs> oh god. Me! Me! I wanna try food! I'm tired of eating electricity all the time. It tickles. Hey, Gordis, you, uh, you wanna go first? Huh? Yeah? No, thank you! No, aren't robots supposed to obey orders or something? Seems like a fun place, huh? 
No wonder you're single. I was joking. That's what I meant. So, Fiona, I need you to hold this while Gordas boosts me up. Don't worry about hurting me. Just climb on up. Well, I guess it's tough to hurt someone made of metal. Oh, no. This is excruciatingly painful. But hey, I'm a team player. Reese wouldn't let us down. Oh, you haven't been around him as long as I have. How could you possibly doubt? Possibly doubt? Oh, okay, are you, are you, are you moving? Not even a little. I got this. Looks like it. All right, Gordis, just give me a little boost up there. No problem. Hurry up, Reese. Jump up there. Oh! <laughs> How was that? Better than I could have expected. Thanks. No problem. Try not to die. Reese, you all right? Nope! Good thing I got that tuking out of my system. Maybe we should step away. Reese, you can do it! Climbing with your cyber arm should be easy! Easy, right? <laughs> Stupid, nice robot. You heard her! Why? Why? You've got some impeccable timing. Hey, I don't know when you gave them the slip, but Finch and Kroger are out there looking for you, and things are gonna get messy if you start messing with us. Don't forget what's on the line here. You get us what we want, what we agreed to, and no one has to get hurt. Dude, I am in the middle of something. I'm gonna have to call you back. What? Listen to me, you... God, so dramatic about everything. Check you out, you made it! In the end, we make a pretty good team, huh? I mean, we had our differences, but we got here. My office. Well, uh, our office now. This place is just overflowing with assholes. I don't know how I stood it for so long. Cause you had to. But hey, you're in the big leagues now. I used to dream about being here. Anyway, where's the Gordas Beacon? Uh, it's gotta be over there somewhere. It's where all the corporate warfare fallout is. Ton of Atlas crap. Soak it in, kid. Enjoy yourself. Yeah, there's really no rush here. Just take it easy. Soak in the sights. The scarred, once upon a time sane moon. Yeah, a lot of people said similar things about me. Except, uh, for the scarred moon thing. That'd be weird. Help us. Where the guns are cold, the women are warm, and butt slams are your primary method of communication. Gotta love it. Hey, there's my man. What's on your mind? You build this office yourself? <laughs> Did I build it? No. No, 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 no. Jack doesn't do that. A desk do anything cool? <laughs> yeah, you'll see. Not in a, in a threatening, ominous, 
kill you way, but more like a, I'm gonna show you in a bit and it'll be awesome, kind of way. So, what's the point of this office? I mean, from what I read, you spent most of your time running around Elpis or Pandora. Yeah, but it's always nice to have somewhere we can just kick back, put up your feet, fend some subordinates out in airlock. You know, it's like I always say, home is where your airlock collection of valuables is. I think I'm just gonna take a look around. That's the spirit. Who's this? Oh, uh, yeah, that's my angel. Don't usually like people knowing about her, but <laughs> you and me are pretty tight. Once we're done with all this vault stuff, I'd like to check up on her. That's cool. What is this? Ah, uh, it's a piece from an early immortality suit prototype, but it, uh, killed the subject, which is great but just not what we're going for. Uh, oh, man. Uh, can anyone else feel like taking a nap? A second. Welcome to my trophy case, huh? Got a couple of killer relics, a few artifacts. Oh, there's a stock certificate signifying that I own Atlas. That's pretty freaking cool. Nothing feels better than crushing a company's value to the point where you can buy all their shares with pocket change. It's delish. Gordas, you there? Uh, hi. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna show you the pieces now. You let me know which one it is. All right? Oh, this, this shotgun, it's legend freaking dairy. <laughs> Hyperion named it the conference call because you're going to want to call everyone to tell them how awesome it is. <laughs> then you kill them. Oh, no, but cute cowboy hat. Cowgirl. Yeah, I don't uh, have a cowboy hat. Uh, that was my girlfriend's hat. Well, her first one before she became a... Sexy badass sheriff type chick. <laughs> he suited her. So this means you own Atlas? Yep, that's right. I own the whole shebang. This way I've got the option of building them back up to destroy all over again whenever I want. Go deep, yeah. <laughs> Belong to the jackass Earl Tassiter, my former boss. I like to keep that around as a reminder of what happens when you act like a dick to me. I know this is your office, but, uh... <gasps> this is my office now? Cool! I'm gonna paint it rainbow color! Reese, you should get back to finding the piece while I consider some interior decorating options. Yeah, that's it! That's the one! The U-shaped thing with the little spear! Great! I'll be down there in a minute. Okay! See you soon! Not much to look at. Okay, here we go. Big seat, it's all yours. You trigger the trap door from there. I 
Were that gorgeous? So this is where it all happened. If by it all you mean the sex my girlfriend and I had, then yes. Ew. Feels good. That'd be the contact activated dopamine injectors. You look like somebody who could kill a bunch of people with a phone call and a little bit of bass in your voice. So tell me how to trigger the trap door. It's behind your pinky. This could be our last chance to chat, you and I. For years, I ruled Hyperion from this room. And now you're here, where it all started. How's it feel, kiddo? There's something to be said for a cushy chair with a bunch of big important buttons that can raise hellfire on people. It feels like I'm sitting in the chair of a supervillain. But you could succeed where I failed. Use our power to make things right, Reese. But say, we shared the power I had when I sat in this room. What would you do with it? What the hell is taking him so long? Reese, the machine is off. Did you get the beacon? We're ready for you. All good. Just getting into position. Oh! Someone is here! Hey! We could wield Hyperion's might together. How would you rule? Hypothetical, of course. But still, you gotta know what you want if you're gonna make it, kid. Like I told you after we escaped Old Haven. Remember? Oh, you know, have nice things, settle down, not have to avoid being murdered every eight seconds. Oh, please, if we ran Hyperion, you'd get all that stuff in the first 48 hours. Heck, you and Sasha could travel the galaxy, take stupid selfies in front of planetary monuments, whatever the kids are doing these days. But imagine, Reese, if it wasn't hypothetical. You ever wonder why Nakayama created me? This whole AI thing? I was supposed to find a worthy successor to the Hyperion throne. Not successor, Reese. Is you. If you join me, we can rule together. What do you say, kid? This is the only room with the override port, so if you don't jack in now, you'll never get another shot. I'd say there's no rush, but uh. <laughs> tick, 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 Greasy. Hell no! You're a psychopath. Why would I trust you? After all the times. I tried to help you after all we've been through. You refuse everything you've ever wanted? Oh, I knew you were an idiot the moment you plugged me into your empty little head. I should have grabbed you by the skull and bashed your brains against a freaking rock. You know you died alone, right? Vault hunters killed your friends, they killed your family, and you croaked in some volcano in the middle of nowhere. I am really going to enjoy killing you. I'm done talking. I'm using the trapdoor. No. No, you really aren't. Reese, the machine is off. Did you get the 
you get the beacon, we're ready for you. Oh, you really shouldn't have told Fiona that. Because now, after I'm done with you, well, I'm gonna have to kill her. As a matter of fact, you're gonna have to kill her. With your own hands. All good. Just, Just getting, getting into position. position. What are you doing? <laughs> It's done. I'm everywhere in the system now. Not to mention my sweet new body. You're a maniac. No, I. 